I am going to go ahead and have some tamales with you guys. I've been craving tamales and fortunate enough, my mother, she made some the other day. Now I'm going to go ahead and basically eat them. But, oh my gosh, these look so fucking good, bro. Like, oh, I love them when they're on the comal, especially when they're like really burnt like this. Who else's family does this? Like, this is the best way to eat them. So... I'm going to go right ahead and unravel them. Ooh, look. The masa. Oh, and it gets crispy. Oh, my God. This one is the rajas. So, rajas, it's basically cheese and the... Uh, what is it called? The poblanos. The poblanos. <laughs> but, yeah, it's basically those. So, it's really, really good. Sometimes this tends to get stuck on the masa but like that's the fun of it because then you get to kind of like do this mm. Mm -hmm. who else does that i love the burnt part of the masa i should have just done the masa on it but i feel like it would have gotten stuck really bad since i don't put oils or anything so that's one of them <laughs> and this one is the it's the rojo de puerco, I believe. Mm. It just gives it a nice flavor. I don't know. I'm just, I just fuck with it. Some people don't, but I don't know. The red ones are the ones that my mom makes very often, especially that I has to, since it is Lent. So... My mom makes rajas so she could have some on Friday um, and then for Lent, of course, and then for the other days so they could just eat something on the go. But look at how steamy that looks. That looks so fucking good. I don't know if you guys can tell. I always love to have some cafe with my tamales. I used to have it with milk, but not a fan of milk no more, but cafe will do its thing. It's just a hot coffee with oat milk. Plain and simple. I have my fork and let's try it out so i know a lot of people are going to be asking like girl mm. wow my mom's tamales are always going to be the best i don't know what i do without her tamales to be honest but anyways oh my gosh look at that wow Mm. this is the piece of puerco she likes to do it in chunks which i don't mind like it's really good and the thing is that she doesn't put like hella masa it's like the perfect amount i know a lot of people are going to be saying like girl why are you eating this if you're going to be getting the gastric sleep not the sleep but the balloon soon you need to start preparing yourself you shouldn't have sugary stuff and like Girl, I know. I mean, like, I'm doing this all in moderation. I'm not, like, doing this every single fucking day. So enough, I know that I'm not going to be able to have all of this stuff because I'm pretty sure just with this one bite and this carne, I would probably be already full. Like, without a doubt. Because it's very heavy. Masa is very heavy, especially with the cheese. Like, girl, come on. I understand that. And I'm mentally preparing myself for that because I know I'm not going to be used to eating like this at all. I'm not I'm not going to be used to eating like small portions and stuff. And I know it's going to, I'm going to get frustrated with it. But, you know, that's part of it. I need to learn. But other than that, the other day I did go to my appointment. So basically they took out blood. They took my ECG. I think that's what it is. And I had to pee in a cup just to make sure that everything was good. That my vitals, my blood work, everything was good. The ECG was complicated. <laughs> because I just hate doctor appointments in general or just appointments like that in general. They always freak me out ever since I was a kid. So, like, 
I was, of course, nervous, you know? But literally, thank you so much to Latina Med Spa. Honestly, they took very good care of me, especially with the blood work. Like, I really do appreciate them, you know, like taking care of me. Especially through all that. They're like, no, you're okay. Don't worry about it, you know? I'm not going to do anything crazy. They were just very comforting in the situation, you know? Because I told them, you know, I was nervous. And like, it's going to be a life-changing thing. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do. And they're like, yeah, of course, you know, like, totally okay to feel this way. And I'm like, thanks. So I kind of like me tranquilo un poquito, you know? Everything went well. Blood work worked well. I just hate doing blood work. It's just the needle thing. I hate the uncomfortable feeling of the needle staying in. That's where my issue is with needles. So like, and not even that. Also, it's just like injections or needles around my face. Like it, oh, it just tends to freak me out. So like, no joke, I did kind of, was starting to freak out kind of at the third tube that they got because they got in total three tubes. And I did kind of freak out a little bit, but like I was just like, okay, get over it. Like I've always dealt with blood work ever since as a kid, so this shouldn't be an issue for me. And yeah, I pulled through and I did it. I was such a big girl. Oh, and then also. I officially have a date. The date that I am getting it done is on April 11th. April fucking 11th, bro. Like, literally, that's like three weeks away. I'm so excited. I'm so happy this is going on. Like, oh my gosh. I literally cannot wait to just be able to control my eating habits and get my life back, y'all. Like, I want to be able to feel good again, you know, and just to like, I always felt uncomfortable shopping. Especially at malls. Specifically at malls. Because it's one, crowded. And two, there's not really a lot of shops for plus size girls. Yeah, there has been improvement, like there's Torrid and stuff, but like. I don't want to just go to a plus size store. I want to feel inclusive like everybody else, you know? Now they are starting to make cuter clothes. Because before, it was like senora clothes. Like, that's not the vibe for a plus size girl. Like, come on. And so, like, I'm just ready to finally be able to feel comfortable and feel good and be able to find an outfit with ease you know i've always struggled with it so it's just kind of like a good solution for me genuinely my mom she was kind of iffy about it though because she was like oh my gosh like what are the the risks what if like this and what if that and you know that's what a normal parent would think you know and it's totally okay like and i told her everything Mm-hmm. I told her exactly what the doctor told me. Of course, there's these risks because of anesthesia, all that stuff. Oh my God, these are spicy. <laughs> but other than that, I told her overall, it's safe, mom. Oh, she even put potato. I didn't know that. I love this. Anyways. But yeah, so I just told her everything. She was like, you know what, you know, do what you got to do and just be very careful. I just want to make sure you're okay. And I'm like, of course, mom, like I'm doing this for the best of me. I like I need to do this because I don't want to continuously be living like this. Like I don't want to continuously be feeling just icky about myself. I rarely look at myself in the mirror because I know what I see and I don't want to constantly see that. So, yeah. I know I have more things under control because normally I would have four tamales. I only cut it down to two because I'm not going to be eating a little more later. So like that's no biggie. And then since I have my coffee, that fills me up a lot too. But last bite. Mm. It Loki was really spicy, but it's so good.
Mm. I woke up like this literally just to have breakfast with you guys. Well, my breakfast because I woke up at 12. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This was absolutely delicious. Hopefully you guys had something with me to eat. If not, I mean, I am all for it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Alrighty, bye.